Building in Gaza, in spite of everything. Six hundred and six trucks carrying construction materials should enter into the Gaza Strip every day to allow its reconstruction in three years. Because of the Israel blockade, only 24 trucks per day are allowed to pass. It forces 1.8 million Palestinians to live within 360 square kilometers, partially destroyed by several conflicts. According to the UNCTAD report, in the absence of quick actions, by the year 2020, the Gaza Strip will become uninhabitable. Handicap International is a French-based organization, which is now an international federation, active in around 60 countries in the world, including in Palestine. We are rehabilitating the location and the promises of our partners in Gaza. We are also providing technical support and uh, innovation techniques for the reconstruction of Gaza. We are supporting our partners also in how they are organized and how they are providing the rehabilitation services internally. The um, initial idea was to quite improve the um, uh, training packages that Handicap International is already providing to the reconstruction stakeholders in Gaza by widening the spectrum of the research, including a debate about uh, alternative possible technologies and materials to be used in the reconstruction of uh, Gaza. Now what you're seeing behind me is a, a workshop that we implemented with the University of Palestine in Gaza. It was very important to demonstrate that even though there are limitations to this, and this cannot be a large-scale reconstruction project, for specific projects we can work with local materials without having to go through this process of import. And that uh, specific projects can be constructed in a different way and have to take into account the needs of persons with disabilities, thus physical accessibility. The project realized from the students consisted of the design and construction of two small pavilions. A bigger one, the Peace Pavilion, built with gabions made by steel bars filled with recycled rubbles, and a smaller one, built with sandbags and plastic bottles, and equipped as a bathroom designed with all the devices needed to facilitate the use by people with disabilities. With a sustainable reconstruction in Gaza workshop, Handicap International aimed at promoting the idea that accessibility is not an expensive goal to reach and in emergency and post-emergency contexts it can also be achieved with limited resources. Even if we are in a situation where materials are very difficult to find because of the blockade, we wanted to do something beautiful. We wanted to design something that people can stay, meditate, relax. And it's not so easy to find places like that in a territory like Gaza that has lived three wars in the last eight years.
استخدمنا اللي هو الاكياس الرمليه حيث الرمل متوافر ايضا والاكياس متوافره الخشب الذي تم استخدامه وهو خشب المشاطيح متوافر في السوق المحليه الجزائز زجاجات المياه متوافره في السوق المحليه بكثره حيث يتم جمعها من الشوارع The idea of reusing rubbles from buildings destroyed during the war to build new constructions emerged from the will to exploit an unfortunately very abundant material, but also from the desire to denounce and ennoble suffering. These materials have not been hidden, but have been left visible in the pavilions valued as fundamental elements of the project. الخبرة اللي اكتسبناها الحمد لله رب العالمين بتقدر تأهلنا لتنفيذ مشاريع بالمواد البديلة مشاريع أكبر من هيك واكتسبنا أفكار لأول مرة بنكتسبها الحمد لله وبنقدر ننفذ فيها مشاريع تانية أكبر ويكون في عنا أفكار تانية نعمل فيها أشياء تانية bathrooms, things that we all throw just because we don't need it. We face the siege, we face the lake of the reconstruction and building material which is really not available in our market and it's very expensive. So this mechanism is really great, save time, effort, money and it can be useful for people. The decision to build the prototype with the students was not marginal. The enthusiasm of new generations of professionals is the engine that in the future we help to restart the social and economic machine. And this potential must be fed with the steamy experiences, new ideas. the connection uh, uh, between this project and the reconstruction in Gaza. This project it was like a hope for them to create something different. And it was really nice to see the girls uh, working really hard also with so strong work because they wanted together to create this kind of things. We learned from the courses the, how to deal with people with disabilities and how to design a good uh, buildings for them. And they have the right to, uh, to design for them. It's their right as a people. Also we learn here in this project how we do it in really, not in just a project in designing computer. It's uh, very hard but it's so interesting. That was a really amazing and interesting uh, project. I wish that uh, we are going to have other workshops and we are ready to uh, work again. Students of today, which will be the decision makers and the technicians of the future, has to start to think out of the box for creating temporary solutions adapted with what they have here and start to have new ideas about what can be done today and not tomorrow in Gaza.